Uh, here we have a 21.5 inch iMac. This is the late 2012. Customer said it doesn't power on. We tried to power it on and no signs of life. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it. I'm unable to remove the LVDS cable from the motherboard, so we're gonna uh, take it off the screen itself. I do not know why it's stuck on the board. But honestly, I think there has been a prior repair attempt because the glue that's sealing the screen, it's not the one from Apple. I do see it's like a, uh, some type of adhesive on the edges. And yes, it's been tempered with. I see soldering mask on the LVDS connector. Okay, I do not know what that is about. Right now, it doesn't appear to be a screen problem. It appears to be a power problem. Okay. So as you can see, the LVDS cable is still stuck on the motherboard. Let me put this on the side. If you see here, the LVDS cable is stuck on the motherboard. I see some green soldering mask on top here. So we do not know what's going on with this part of the board. But right now, I'm going to assume it's not a screen issue because we did not have any signs of power or fan spin at all. Let's turn it on and check the diagnostic lights. If, let's say, the first three lights are on and the last one is not on, then it's a screen issue. As soon as we plug the power cable, we see the first light, it came on, which indicates that the power cable is plugged in. Now we're gonna try to turn it on. I press the power button, but we do not have a second light. And that's a good indication that it's a problem with the power supply. Hi, how are you? Hi, good. Um, I have a friend, she told me to come here. We're gonna go ahead and change the power supply and see if we can get this iMac to work. The old power supply is out, and we're going to try the one that we have. Notice your face. Hey, how's it going? Bob? I had a quick question for you. Okay, so now we're gonna try to see if we get a second light. Let's turn this off. Yeah. Right now we have light number one, it's on. Right over here. Still no power. Right. Okay, so this is not a power supply issue. We still have one light at the logic board and the computer is not turning on. What I want to do is take a look at the LVDS connector area because I see solder mask over the connector. So possibly there was some work that was done to that area before. And it could be that maybe something is shortened out causing the computer not to power on. Let's check under the microscope to see how the LVDS connector looks like. I was able to remove the LVDS cable. And look at what's going on here. Look at the LVDS connector area. Oh. I mean, I see possibly 
two pins shorting out here this and this uh, the no power could possibly be related to this LVDS connector customer did not mention anything about it the best thing to do is to remove this LVDS connector and see if the iMac will power on pads for the most part they don't look that bad those appear to be a part of this line so all of them connect to each other those appear to connect to each other too these are good this is good this is good 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 so the only thing the only one that we may need to run a wire for is this one this one here we want to make sure this pin is not touching this pin because the pad is very close so let's try it right now to see if it will power on I'm gonna plug the power okay so light number one came on and if we try to power it on Still nothing. When I press and hold, the hard drive is going off. So it means the hard drive is turning on when I press the power button. But it doesn't show here. And nothing is getting hot on the board, which means the board is not turning on. Let me take a look under the thermal cam quick to see if I see anything obvious. Something is getting really hot here. And this is the area where the power supply connects from the back. Oh, okay. Look at this here. I see a very hot spot on this side of the board. Now, this spot is where the power supply connector connects to from back of the board. So we have to take the motherboard out to see what part is heating up. This one here. The power supply, this one here, is connecting from back of the board, from down here, and the heat spot is coming from this area. So something is preventing power from the power supply to go to the rest of the board, and that's why the board is not powering on. There's something going on from the back that is causing the power supply not to communicate with the motherboard. So uh, it's too late to take out the motherboard right now. We'll take it out tomorrow, and I'll probably continue this in the next video. Um, so, you guys have data so that's it for part one of this repair. We'll probably have part two after we remove the motherboard and see what's going on on back of the board. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next video.